Mel, I'm so excited to connect with you. Uh, you're such a beautiful person and woman, and having had the pleasure of working with you and seeing your amazing transformation just brings uh, so much joy to my heart. So uh, thank you for being here. I can't wait to, to share your your experience with, with the women here. <laughs> Thanks for wanting to do this. I mean, it's been an amazing experience and an amazing journey. So thank you for allowing me to talk to you today. Well, it wasn't only um, as far as men is concerned, it was relationships in general. So when you don't feel good about yourself or you don't know your self-worth, it's every relationship in your life, your family, your friends, men and your business life as well, everything kind of suffers. And so you feel like you're not worthy of being successful or having good relationships. So this actually helped me in every area of my life, not just with personal relationships with a man. Sure. But what were some of the specifics that were going on in your life in terms of what wasn't working that you said, hey, I, I, I need to do it a different way? Well, it's kind of like the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result. So I would date the same kind of man, or I would, I would, my responses to um, situations in my personal relationships with my family or friends would be the same type of a response instead of sitting back and thinking about, you know, why is this happening? And if I change my response on how I react to it, uh-huh it's going to change what happens. And that's one of the things I learned in the program was how to change my reaction <laughs> to what was happening. What, what was the, when you say you were dating the same kind of guy, can you describe this kind of guy? Because I'm sure that so many of the women who are watching aren't doing that, but they right. may not be aware of exactly. So what do you mean when you say this? what kind of guy was it that you were connecting with? So I was connecting with men who were very superficial, um, you know, always very good looking, uh, very successful. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but they, they didn't have a lot of substance inside. They didn't want to get to know who I was. They just wanted to see the outside package and they were happy to walk in a restaurant, you know, with me on their arm, but they didn't want to get to know who I was. And so that was a big shift for me Uh knowing that I need to find more. It wasn't just about being superficial and you know this man is attracted to me uh-huh. for the way that I looked he's attracted to me for the way that I am okay so sometimes you know they they say in the universe when you're ready the teacher will show up you know <laughs> in any way and I just happened to be on YouTube And I came across your videos on YouTube and I watched a whole bunch of videos on YouTube first and then thought it was great to take it to the next step. And so we had our one-on-one first call and I said, yes, I like this guy because I need someone who's gonna tell it like it is, not sugarcoat it (laughs) and not say, you know, oh, you know, you're soft and, and I need someone who's gonna be in your face and say, this is the change you need to make. This is the shift, this is on you. This isn't on everybody else. And that's what I really liked about you. Well, a lot of the work that we did, and and I think this is important for other women to know, is you start with internal work. So it's painful, you know, having to sit down and, and really think about writing how you really feel. What is it that you really want out of life? What is it that you really want out of relationships? And sometimes that's really painful mm-hmm. because your true your inner feelings really do come out and all of a sudden you realize you know I've been living I haven't been living an authentic life I've been living for the way other people want me to live or I think other people think I I should live so for me it was all of that those worksheets and writing things out and making a difference getting up in the morning and setting my alarm with that says, you know, today's gonna be the day and making that dance happen first thing in the morning was a huge energy shifter for me and being able to sit down and write out my exactly what I was looking for and all of that were I mean it's a lot of work Mm -hmm. but it's so worth it Uh, there was one specific situation for you uh, if you want to share about it I mean you you were kind of stuck on someone who was not really stuck on you can you Mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about what that 
Club sure. Club. <laughs> Sure. And, you know, I, I texted you about it. I would send you a Facebook message about it. And it was my ex-boyfriend. We had dated for just under a year and he kind of came back into my life. And he was one of those who he doesn't know his own self-worth. Mm -hmm. So I was attracting people who didn't know their own self-worth. So he had a lot of issues. But I felt because he came back into my life, oh, my gosh, he really wants me back. And that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. And I kept trying to find that, you know, every little innuendo in a text message, I would think, oh, my God, he really wants me back. <laughs> and I would send you copies of the messages. And you're like, Mel, you got to move on. <laughs> you got to move on because this is not an authentic relationship. And we had a conversation. Want... Remember, we had one specific conversation where you were like, hey, I just like said, let's it, you can't stay in the shit. Right. Right. You said to me, you know, you need to tell him you need to let him go and and you need to not be engaged in conversation with this and i sent him a message that said this is hurting me i can't do this i can't be your sounding board i can't be your friend if you want a relationship with me and you want an awesome relationship then i'm here and i'll you know i'll if i'm still available mm -hmm. then you know we can have a, a conversation but It was really awesome because I felt free sending that message. You know, I kind of told you what I was going to say and I sent it and he originally kind of was a little combative about it. Why don't you want to talk to me? We're still friends. And I said, I just can't do it. I can, for me, in my own self-worth, I know I'm better than that and I deserve more than that. And after that conversation, we never spoke again. And a month later, Somebody showed up in my life, it was unexpected, and he came in and he was the real deal. He cared about, he cares about me. He, you know, it tells me every day that he's lucky to have me in his life, that, you know, not just, you know, that I'm pretty or whatever, but he loves the authentic me, who I am as a person, and he makes me know that all the time, and it's such a different experience than I've ever had and you know not to say there's not going to be conflict because sure. you know everybody in every relationship there is but all the tools that you gave me mm -hmm. to work on that and how men actually really think and you know when you say something this is what they hear mm -hmm. and so I've used the tools that you gave me to deal with that and I can't even believe what a difference it is not just because he's a different person but you know sure. even dealing with it on how men think. How does it feel for you? Because you, at one point in your life, you were thinking, man, maybe as this thing that I have with my ex is as good as it's going to get emotionally. Having gone from that to something that's significantly more fulfilling to you, uh, how does it feel to, to, to have this? To have someone who's in love with you and to be in love with someone and to be committed in a relationship that's growing, right? Sure, every relationship will have challenges, but know that primarily it's going in the right direction how does that feel <laughs> in the beginning it was very scary because it was a, you know the unknown it was something i've never experienced before almost like the, so, is this real will this sustain will this right last? and it's he he would we would joke about it because he said you're always holding the shoes up in the air waiting for one to drop mm -hmm. and so it kind of became a joke between the two of us but and he was right You know, he he knew that I have never really had a great relationships. And no matter what he did to prove that I had to kind of wait out that time. So I felt secure and he was really good about kind of walking me through that process because he's an authentic guy. You know, he loved me for who I am. And um, now it feels amazing. Now I feel like I could call him for anything before in other relationships. I always felt like I was bothering them. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't worth their time, in other words. And now, if I have any issue or if I have something I want to talk about, I can call David at any time and he will take my call. Even if, even if he couldn't talk at that moment, he'd say, you know, babe, I'm just on the phone. I'm just working. Is everything okay? Can I call you back? And he calls me. He doesn't only have a text relationship with me. Wow. He calls me. <laughs> every day you know we and I see him quite a bit it's just a very different relationship than I've ever had mm -hmm. what would you say has been the impact of not just the man who loves you appearing in your life but the way you feel about yourself and the way you embody more passion more aliveness 
how has that translated into other areas of your life? Maybe your children or your work? What's it's impacted that? every area of my life, every single area of my life. My business is better. Um, I am you know, very authentic and passionate with my clients and teaching them to be the same way. Um, they're executives who are, you know, searching for new jobs. So, you know, I teach them to be more authentic because they're not, and they love that fact about me. They've, they've seen, some of them who I've been with for a little while have seen a shift in me which is amazing. My family relationships are better. My relationships with my kids are better because I feel like I'm not just their mom. I can give a lot more of myself. And now that they're older and more, they're adults basically, they appreciate that more. I'm not just the mom, you know, I'm their mom first, but now I feel like I can give more as a friend too. And I've just seen a tremendous shift in every single area of my life. <laughs> You can't be man focused. I think you have to be self focused because mm -hmm. you can't go into a relationship if you're broken. Mm -hmm. So this really helped fix me. It helped me realize who I am authentically. And if you're on the fence, if you are confused about it, I would say absolutely do it because no matter what, you're going to be a better person for it. And it's going to kind of, it's really going to explode in every other area of your life not just finding a man you know that you that's just one part of it and it's a great part of it don't get me wrong it's a wonderful part of it but there are so many other aspects that it helps in in your life and i feel like you have to be self-focused in this program actually do it yeah. because there was a meeting that I didn't show up for and you were very honest with me and it was a life changer it was a game changer for me yeah. if you can't show you, up you, you were stuff. asking me to like give you an extra meeting and say I'm sorry I can't because mm -hmm. I wanted to model to you mm -hmm. how to, just how to show up right <laughs> right right if you can't show up for yourself how are you going to show up for anybody else and that was a game changer for me mm -hmm. for me that made all the difference because you were absolutely right in your face and I needed that Mel, I can't tell you how happy I am to see what you're going through. I'm so excited. Uh, thank I am you. too. I'm thank very you. I know the work wasn't easy. I know that we went through ups and downs. I know that at a point you felt like, oh my God, is this ever going to work? And finally, once it clicked, things changed in a very beautiful right. way for you. But it's like it's you did the work. You, you put yourself on the line. You did the things that were uncomfortable. You went mm -hmm. well beyond your comfort zone. And the result is you get to wake up to a life that you love and to a man that you love. So uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much for, for being part of my life and for being willing to share this. I can't well, wait to hear so from much. you as you as you go forward, you know, with more of yes, this. Yes, thank you so much for creating this program because I think it's so important for women to feel good about themselves. That self-worth part of it mm -hmm. is the part that really made the difference for me. And <laughs> I am so grateful. I mean, it's hard work, but it was worth every, every step of the way. It was worth it. <laughs> well, thank you, Mel. <laughs> Thank you.